We've been on pause for over a year now due to COVID. As things kind of begin to reopen, we felt comfortable and safe to give it a go and get the community out to the first run in over a year, and people are pretty excited about it. So the Boyle Heights Bridge Runners has been in uh, Boyle Heights and actively involved for over seven years now. Um, you know, we are a community-based running group, meaning that we are really uh, a group that comes out with no agenda, just other than to inspire folks for, uh, you know, to you know, take control over the streets, go out and enjoy a run, uh, and, uh, and feel empowered to take uh, take your health on. Our biggest challenge has been, A, uh, just understanding uh, COVID had a huge impact in the community, had a huge impact uh, on a lot of uh, folks that, you know, are part of the group. Uh, and so I think a lot of it was just doing this with, uh, with respect to those that we've lost, uh, especially with a lot of friends that um, are either first responders. Uh, we have a significant group of folks that are uh, Filipino and Filipino Americans, and they were a lot of the folks that were in the front line. So I think a lot of that and just uh, having that at top of mind as we kind of began to roll out, uh, how do we do this in a way that uh, is uh, putting the health of the community first? After running the three miles, I feel pretty good. I think it's just exciting to be back with the group and in community and historically communities of color have been marginalized from any type of wellness resources. So to have a space like this in a community like Boyle Heights is that much more important. And then when you factor in the pandemic, like so many people experience grief in different ways, whether that was jobs or like family members or friends. And so we're kind of coming off of that and to have a space to just like, as you see people are like conversing and just like seeing each other after a long time. It's not only like the physical body and movement, but just community coming together and seeing each other and interacting. And that is so needed. It's really wonderful to have things like this that are open to everyone. It's free. Um, it's a way for folks to take their healing and their health into their own hands and feet. Um, I think COVID really opened people up to finding new ways to be in their bodies um, and definitely now to do things safely together. It's an outdoor thing. We're all masked. Um, you know, we tried to keep distance as we were running. So I think it's a really safe way to get into running. Even though it's, it's a big group, uh, it gives you a sense of strength on a personal level, you know, it gives me comfort, it gives me strength, it gives me hope that things will be back to normal. So, you know, even though we're all here together, um, if you know, if it's it's part of healing for myself, you know, for each one, I feel like, you know, as you heard us laughing and, and enjoying each other's company, you know, that 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 kind of puts you away from from the situation that we've been going through for at least those, you know, 20 minutes or whatever it takes us to run and then hang out here together. You know, it's it's always great to hang out with your community, especially you know, in, in these hard times, and just give each other comfort. You know, laughter I think heals a lot of. A lot of um, the situations that we're going through momentarily, you know, because eventually we go back to it, but a lot of laughter and love, it, it will get you away from the situation, whatever you're going through, you know. Just know that there is hope tomorrow, you know, and things will get better eventually.